Hello everyone, welcome to Krakow video series. In today's video, let's have a look at CAT 2024 syllabus. Before deep diving into the syllabus, let's have a basic understanding on CAT. CAT, which is known as Common Admission Test, it is one of the most prestigious exam for the admissions into top institutes like IMs, that is Indian Institute of Management. Last year, we had 3.38 lakh aspirants who had registered for CAT 2023. Out of them, only 2.88 lakh people appeared for CAT. Based on the previous year trends, CAT exam is likely to be organized by IM Calcutta. Now coming to the registrations, the registrations will typically open either in the last week of July or in the month of August and the registrations will be closed in the month of September. Coming to the exam, the exam is usually held on the last Sunday of November, tentatively on 24th of November this year. Now coming to the CAT registration fee, it is expected to be 2400 rupees for general category and 1200 rupees for SC, ST and PWD candidates. So this fee basically includes both the CAT exam fee and the IM application fee. After you have paid this amount, you need not to pay any extra amount for other IMs. But there are one or two IMs that you need to separately apply. Now let's talk about the eligibility. To be eligible for CAT 2024, Candidate must have a bachelor's degree and the candidate need to have a minimum of 50% aggregate or equivalent CGPA from a recognized university. And for SC, ST and PWD category students, they need to have 45% of their overall score. Apart from that, candidates who are in the final year of their graduation can also apply for CAT 2024 and those who are awaiting for the results are also eligible to apply for CAT 2024. And work experience is not mandatory. Now let's talk about CAT mock test pattern. Basically CAT comprises of three sections that is verbal ability and reading comprehension, data interpretation and logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude. So previously before COVID CAT exam used to be for uh, three hours with one hour of duration for each section but due to COVID it got reduced to two hours. So if you see the exam pattern the total number of questions are 66 and the total duration is two hours. From VIRC, you will be getting 24 questions and from DILR, you will be getting 20 questions and in Quant, you will be having 22 questions and the time allocated for each section is 40 minutes. So, you will be having 40 minutes for VIRC, after that you will be having DILR for 40 minutes and you will be having 40 minutes for Quant. So, in total, the duration is 2 hours. So, here the attendance structure is fixed, unlike GMAT. Here you will not get an option to select DILR or Quant first. So firstly you need to attempt VARC and then DILR and then Quant. Now coming to the question types, you will be either tested in MCQ format or in theta format. As many of us already know MCQs that is multiple choice questions. So These are the questions where you will be choosing the correct answer from the options given. Let's come into theta questions, that is type in the answer questions. So these are the questions where you need to manually type the answers without any options provided. For example, if the answer of a particular question is 14, so you will be provided a box and you need to type 14 in that particular answer. So these are called theta questions and no mark will be deducted for theta questions. Now coming to the marking scheme. So, for every correct answer, you will be awarded with 3 marks and for every wrong answer, 1 mark will be deducted from the total score. So, as I said, if you attempt MCQ questions and if the answer is correct, then you will be awarded with plus 3 mark and if the answer is wrong, then 1 mark will be deducted. And coming to theta questions, if your answer is correct, then you will be awarded with 3 marks and for example, if your answer is wrong and no mark will be deducted for theta questions can give a try attempting all the data questions. So it is advisable to attempt all the data questions. Okay, now let's deep dive into each section and each section wise weightage in CAT. Now first let's go with VRC. Basically VRC section assess your English language skills. It includes questions on RCs that is reading comprehension, para summary and para jumbles and sentence correction. So to excel in this section, you need strong reading and comprehension skills. So basically in VARC, you will be given with four passages and each passage consists of four questions. 
So in total, you will be having 4 into 4, that is 16 questions from RCs. As we previously discussed, in VRC section, in total, we will be asked with 24 questions. Out of these 24 questions, 16 questions are from reading comprehension. And the other thing is, in reading comprehension, each passage is around 500 words long and the content of the passage is fairly readable. Basically, in RC section, they will be testing your comprehension skills and you need to infer from the passages. Next, coming to parajumbles. Basically, it involves rearranging jumble sentences to form a coherent passage. To make it simple, you will be given a set of sentences which are out of order and your task here is to sequel them logically and to prepare a meaningful paragraph. So, mostly all the parajumble questions uh, are in the form of theta questions. Now, para summary on the other side, it requires you to identify the central theme or uh, main idea of the passage. To make it simple for you, you will be provided with a paragraph and then you need to choose the best summary that captures the essence of the paragraph in a concise manner. And as you know, uh, you will be also tested with some sentence correction questions as well. Now, let us have a look at section wise weightage of VRC in CAT 2023. So, uh, let us have a look at slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3 in VRC uh, section. So, as I said, the reading comprehension, it consists of uh, 16 questions in all the 3 slots. That means, uh, which is nothing but uh, 4 sets with 4 uh, questions each. And next coming to para jumbles, you will be having uh, like in 2023, they have asked uh, 2 para jumble questions in slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3. Uh, same is the case with para completion. They have asked 2 questions in each slot. And uh, coming to para summary as well, they have tested with two para summary questions in each slot and two questions from uh, sentence correction as well. So, I basically suggest uh, for uh, RCs, try to read articles from Aon and uh, we at Kraku also provide a daily article in our uh, batch. And whosoever are a part of Kraku, they will be also getting one daily article to maintain the trading habit. And it is also advisable to solve at least one RC each from now on till the exam. Minimum one, maximum four RCs till the exam. Basically, to maintain this consistency of uh, solving the RCs daily, we at Kraku provide daily targets. In that, we will be asking one RC, one uh, DLR set and one quant test which consists of five questions. So, from Monday till Friday, each day we will be releasing one RC, one DLR set and one quant test so that aspirants will be maintaining that consistency in their preparation. Basically, we have started these daily targets from the month of January itself and we are going to continue till the end of exam. Through these daily targets, people will be introduced numerous set of questions from DLR, from quant and uh, they will get introduced to different kinds of passages and how to answer them. And uh, we will be also providing video solutions for each and every set. Next, coming to DLR section. Basically, DLR tests your ability to interpret data and solve logical problems. So, basically it involves sets on um, arrangements and puzzles, tables with missing values and with cumulative data etc. And uh, you can expect questions on charts. Venn diagrams and uh, based on set theory and sets. And next, uh, you can also expect sets on uh, enumeration, uh, games and tournaments, team selection, routes and networking, scheduling, and 2D and 3D reasoning. So, as I previously said, in DLR, you will be asking 20 questions by providing 4 sets. In DLR, time management and uh, logical thinking are critical. And uh, one of the most important thing is set selection. So, set selection in DLR plays a key role because if you select a wrong set, it is going to kill your time and overall it is going to affect your score. And uh, so, it is always essential to select a correct set so that it is going to maximize your score. And also maintaining accuracy is also very important. Now, let us have a look at CAT 2023 DLR section wise weightage. So, uh, like if you see, in slot 1, 2 and 3, as I said, we will be provided with 4 sets. 
So if you see in the first set in slot 1, they have asked about scheduling and uh, in slot 2, the set 4 is scheduling and in slot 3, the set 1 is on scheduling and on set 2, they have asked about arrangement questions and in slot 3, they have asked about uh, table with missing values. Uh, the same was asked in set, uh, set 2 in slot 2 and set 2 in slot 3. And they have also tested on puzzles in slot 1. Coming to slot 2, they have covered two quant based LR questions, table with missing values and on scheduling. And coming to slot 3, they have asked about scheduling, table with missing values and uh, a set on quant based LR and uh, quant based DI. So, uh, for example, if you are uh, good at LR, try to select an easy LR set. So, uh, basically many of the candidates who are appearing for uh, DILR, they will try to solve at least one set to meet the cutoff. Uh, but to maximize your score, try to solve at least uh, two to two and a half sets. Next, uh, coming to quant section. Quant section basically evaluates your uh, mathematical and problem solving skills. So, uh, basically it covers topics like arithmetic, geometry, algebra, modern math, number system and Venn diagrams. So, arithmetic covers uh, averages, ratios and proportions, profit loss and uh, interest, time speed distance and work. And coming to geometry, basically in geometry you will be covering uh, basic geometry concepts that you have learned from 6 to 10 standards. And next coming to algebra, you will be having uh, questions on uh, quadratic and polynomial equations linear equations and inequalities and uh, in modern math logarithms search and indices functions and graphs probability permutations and combinations and you'll be also tested with number system and venn diagrams so if you want to score between 95 to 99 percentile then uh, you can mostly concentrate on the concepts on arithmetic geometry and algebra basically like uh, from the past trends Basically, we can expect around 19 out of 22 questions from arithmetic, geometry and algebra itself. So, one can mainly concentrate on these three topics and then you can uh, concentrate on um, and if you are uh, mostly concentrating on 99 and above percentile in quant, then you can also concentrate on uh, modern math, number system and Venn diagrams. Now let's have a look at uh, CAT 2023 quant section wise weightage. So as I said, uh, in arithmetic, in slot 1, slot 2 and slot 3 if you see. So we have got 9 questions from arithmetic in slot 1 and in slot 2 we got 7 questions and in slot 3 we got 12 questions from arithmetic itself. And uh, coming to geometry, we have uh, 3 questions each in each slot. And coming to algebra, we got 7 questions in slot 1, 7 questions in slot 2 and 8 questions in slot 3. So, if we analyze properly, for only from arithmetic, geometry and algebra, we got 19 questions um, in slot 1, 17 questions in slot 2 and 20 questions in slot 3. So, it is highly advisable to not to miss any kind of topics from arithmetic, geometry and algebra. Next, if you are from an engineering background, you can also concentrate on these uh, topics like uh, modern math and number system. So, basically in modern math, it consists of uh, logarithms, search and indices and uh, you can also expect questions from uh, functions and graphs. So, in 2023, from logarithms, in slot 1, we got two questions. And in slot 1, we got one question. And in slot 3, we got one question. So, basically, in uh, logarithm search and indices, you can expect easy kind of questions. Why? Because only a list of formulas will be provided to you where you can understand or you can mark the formulas and you can directly apply that particular formula in the question. And um, coming to functions and graphs, we got zero questions in slot 1, one question in slot 2 and one question in slot 3. In coming to number systems, we got uh, two questions in slot 1, three questions from slot 2 and two questions from slot 3. So, here what I would like to tell you is, if anyone who are from non-engineering background, 
they can mostly concentrate on arithmetic geometry and algebra so that you can end up landing between 95 to 99 percentile in quant whereas if you are from an engineering background and you are uh, very much good at quant then try to maximize your score in this quant section so you can practice all these topics and try to maximize your score in quant now let's discuss some cat free uh, resources that we are providing uh, to the candidates now let's have a look at free resources provided by Kraku. Basically, we have uh, multiple batches in uh, Kraku. Uh, we'll be providing free schedule for uh, CAT 2024 uh, based on the number of months that are left. You can download the particular batch schedule accordingly. So from now on, as uh, only 7 months were left, we have uh, provided a schedule for the next 7 months where uh, I'll be pinning the schedule in the description below. So, please go through it. You can download the PDF. You can plan your preparation accordingly. Along with that, we will be also providing you with uh, three CAT free mock tests. So, many of the students who had prepared and given their CAT 2023 from Kraku, many of the students said that the CAT 2023 exam is similar to Kraku mocks that we have provided last year. So, try to take these uh, free mock tests so that you will be understanding the quality of the test. Basically, the content here is prepared by I am grads itself. After that, and here we also provide CAT 2023 slot 1, 2 and 3 question papers in the form of mock. You can also download them in the form of PDF and you can also give or else if you want to take it in the form of mock, you can take them in the form of mock. Uh, I basically advise people who are going to start their preparation from now on, try to give CAT 2023 paper so that it will be helpful for you to understand basically where you stand it. Accordingly, you can try to find out your weak and strong areas and you can start your preparation. And we will be also providing previous year papers in the form of mocks and also you can download them. We will be also providing one VASA sectional test, one DLR sectional test and one quant uh, sectional test. If you also want to know the quality of the questions that we are preparing, you can also take some free topic wise tests. The link will be provided in the description. So go through all these links and you can check the quality of the questions that are prepared by our faculty. And along with that, you can also download all the CAT formulas and theorems in the form of PDF for free. And if anyone who are planning to enroll for CAT 2024 7 month uh, sublime batch, we will be providing the details in the description below. Please go through all of them. Now coming to testimonials. Like if you talk about uh, Krakow's recent results that is in CAT 2023. 45 of the students got 99.9 uh, .9 percentile and above. And uh, 280 students got 99.5 uh, percentile and above. And 510 students got 99 and above percentile. You can also go through some of the testimonials and uh, reviews provided by our uh, recent students who had given uh, their uh, CAT 2023. One of them is uh, Unna Takhauri and Deveshwar, Priyadarshini, Rishabh and uh, Rishabh Sethi. So that's it for today guys. If you like this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon below. And uh, in case of any doubts, please do comment in the comment section below. Thank you.